the requirements for this course uh, in the software side, like what we're using, it's very simple. You need to have installed Visual Studio Code, co uh, code of course. You also need to have Node.js, Postgres app or PG admin or Postgres in your console, doesn't matter, all right? I choose the po uh, version 10.5 of Node.js. If you want to choose the 8.11, I think it's gonna be no problem. Um, the Postgres uh, app that you can use if you have a Mac is here or the PG admin is here. The point is that you need to be able to create a database, okay? In my console, I have the wow. In my console, I have the command for uh, Postgres. So I do PSQL, let me make this big. See, but, okay. I do PSQL and I'm inside of PSQL, of uh, Postgres, I can create databases and it creates a database. So the point is that I don't know how you do it, but you need to be able to create databases and drop databases and see your database. So do it with Postgres app, PG admin, or installing PSQL with Homebrew if you have a Mac. Uh, don't forget Node.js, Visual Studio Code, and Google Chrome. That's all you need to take this course. Um, yeah, I mean Visual Studio Code because we're gonna work with different extensions and I really like the terminal inside and it's fast. Google Chrome because we're gonna fuck around with the location of the driver and Google Chrome has something super nice to fake your location. Uh, Postgres because it's our database for choice and Node.js well because everything is gonna be based on Node.js. That will be it, people. Uh, oh, for, I forgot. NPM if you want to, or Jarn as well, because you're going to use Jarn a lot, or NPM Jarn. NPM a lot. So that that's those are the requirements for the course in terms of software. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.